Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Ali Lili Okalani and I am here to share with you all my tips and tricks on how to get cute and easy hair and get it done fast. Because if you're a mother of a baby or a young child like I am, it's just the time is limited. So today I'm gonna show you how to do a half up top knot or a half up double top knot. Even if you have very short hair, like I have very short layers up top. If you have a bob and you think that you just can't achieve that bun, I'm gonna show you the secret to how to get it right now. Okay, so I know when you have short hair, you feel like there's nothing you can do. And sometimes if you're left up to only your hair, you might be limited. But there is the beauty of extensions and clipping extensions. And today, that's what we're going to be using. So if you've never used extensions, clip-ins or otherwise, they're amazing and they can make opportunities out of your hair that you never thought were there. Today I have a standard set, um, a full head set of extensions and every set of extension generally comes with two pieces, two tracks that have a double clip. So these are the two that I'm going to be using today and I'm using these two because they're the most narrow of all the tracks that come in the pack and I'm going to be using them up top so I don't want them to be exposed. So I'm going to be using the two um, double clip tracks. So let's get started here. First, I'm going to show you how to do a single top knot right here in the center. So I'm going to start by, I'm going to just part a little line right here behind my bangs. Let me just pause real quick. If you've never used clip-ins before, they have these clips. They open and then they snap shut. So what you do is slide this into it and then snap it shut. And then it's very secure and you could tug on it and it won't come out of your hair. So I'm just going to take these, slide it in and snap it closed. Same over here, slide it in and snap it closed. And then I'm just gonna take another slice of hair and drop it right over that last track and grab my second track and do the same thing. Just slide the clip in and snap it shut. Slide the clip in and snap it shut. So now I'm just gonna take this hair that's right in front and I'm gonna tease this up a little bit because I like a little volume, a little bump in my hair. Just a tiny bit right here on the sides because I want this to go back too. And you can see my deep uh, hairline right here. Um, I always have a little bit of a deep hairline, but right now it's pretty, pretty empty because of my postpartum hair loss. But they're growing back. I'm just gonna grab this front little area. Basically, I'm gonna grab this right up the back to right under where that first track was. So I'm including that track into what I'm pulling up. And I'm gonna pull that up on both sides. Now you might be able to see here my short postpartum hairs. They don't really wanna go up and that's okay. Um, I think it looks nice when you do have a little bit falling and it kind of gives it a more um, a more lived in look, a little less polished. That's always the goal, right? Effortlessly cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna run my fingers through this because I had a little, that little tease right there. I've got both my extension tracks included. I'm gonna secure it with an elastic. So I have two elastics. I always use two because I don't like them busting on me throughout the day. And especially with this extra extension hair, um, my hair is thicker, so I need that extra support. So I'm just gonna pull a little bit of this out for volume before I 
make my little bun, my little knot. I like it to be loose and relaxed looking. Okay, so I'm gonna take this long ponytail hair and I'm just gonna grab the comb and just tease it up a little bit, or a lot of bit, um, to make it nice and full. And then when I wrap this around, you might see how my natural short hairs are coming out. So I'm just gonna take these natural hairs of mine, I'm gonna bend them over, and then I'm gonna pin them down before I wrap the rest so that they don't end up shooting out at me and making it obvious that I have this fake hair in there or giving me like a like cockatoo look. Okay, so now that I have those controlled and they're not gonna stick straight out on me, I'm gonna take the rest of this and I'm just gonna loosely, I don't wanna wrap it too tight because I'll lose all that volume from the tees. And I always like a little extra texture in my knots. Um, I don't like them super smooth. And then I take my bobby pin and I open it just, just a little bit like that. I don't need it open a ton and I just grab a little piece of this hair and then I stick it in to the base of my hair and push it in. And you just need that little bit to control the hair. You don't want to open the bobby pin too much. So I'm going to grab a little piece here and just tuck it in. If you open it too much, you end up getting way too much hair pushed into the bobby pin. And when there's too much hair pushed into the bobby pin, it causes the bobby pin to like slowly push its way out because it can't hold on, it can't grip onto all that hair. So you just want a little bit of hair in the bobby pin so that the, the grip of the bobby pin stays nice and tight and holds in there. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. So now I have this nice top knot, even though my top layers, my hair is not that short in my length, but since my top layers are so short, you saw how tiny it was when I wrapped my natural hairs around and secured them down. It was a itty bitty little knot, but now I have this nice full knot, even though my hair is so short and it's just super cute. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do two knots. So this time, um, because it's two, I'm gonna put one track on each side. So I'm gonna start on this side and I'm gonna part about an inch to an inch and a half of my hair. So this is where my part is. And so I have about, uh, I'd say about an inch to inch and a half of the hair on top of that part. I'm gonna scoot it over I'm gonna lay this track along the part line. <gasps> Say hi, sorry about that. See, I woke up from my nap and I was not happy, huh? You say hi? Say, sorry guys, mom will finish when I when I'm happy again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. She just, she's been having a hard day and she was really fussy. <laughs> okay, so back to where we were. Okay, so now I have this track in over here. I'm gonna add one to this side too. I'm gonna go about an inch down from the part line and just, Slide those in, slide, slide it in, snap it shut. Okay, so it's very similar to the single knot, but I'm gonna part back farther to cover this 
track. So make sure I grab all the track hair and then I'm going to comb this back. I'm just going to let a little bit of hair come down so it has a soft look. And then I'm going to grab my elastics and secure that. Pull a little of this out. For, and then same thing over here. So same thing, I'm going to grab my elastics and I'm still using two. I always use two. It's just not worth it for me to try and use one. And then I'm gonna loosen a little bit of this so it's not super tight. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna tease this down a little bit. And loosely wind it around. You're just going to open the bobby pin a little bit. Grab just the edge of the hair, just enough to secure it down to the head. And this has a little bit of hanging pieces hanging out, which I kind of really like that. So I'm going to leave those down. I just think that's kind of cute. Gives it a little bit of a messy look. And same over here. Okay, so there we have it. My double top knot half up look using my extensions to make my nice big full bun. And if you want that full look, there's only one way to make your hair fuller and thicker than it actually is. And that's with extensions. And that is what extensions are all about. Like it offers you so much variety in your hair that you may not have otherwise had. Not that I get anything from you using extensions. <laughs> I don't have any affiliation with any kind of extension company. But I know that for me personally, they offer so much range in, um, in what I can do with my hair. Even when I had long hair, I would use them all the time just to really spruce it up. So if you haven't tried them, and you're interested, I would definitely try them out and know that obviously there is some adjustment period in learning how to do it, but they're really very simple to use and they give you so much variety to your hair. Leave a comment down below and let me know if this was helpful for you or if you have any questions about the clip-ins or how to put them in your hair or if you just need any further help with anything. So yeah, definitely let me know if you try it let me know what you think below. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. So thank you again. And I can't wait to see you back here next week.